And it's important to know there is help available if you're struggling with addiction. For years, one Colorado woman thought her life would be forever ruled by meth and alcohol. After overcoming her addiction, she's now helping others facing the same battles at a treatment center in the heart of Rhino. Here's Denver 7's Jessica Crawford. With the feeling of calm that surrounds her, <laughs> You'd never imagine the chaos that overtook Christabel Stansberry's life. I experienced homelessness, I experienced domestic violence, I experienced um, being used in ways that I wouldn't want anybody to be used. A heartbreaking pattern that started when she was just a kid. I was a methamphetamine addict for a while and then later I just drank alcohol abusively. Stansberry battled addiction for years. I got to learn about the the way drugs and alcohol react with my brain. Like they light up my brain. They fill receptors and my brain acts a certain way towards those substances that maybe it won't affect another person. Part of what put her on the path to recovery, addressing her underlying trauma and finding other things that brought a spark into her life. She took a recovery program that had her volunteer with a business. I started with you know, implementing a billing system for someone. And, you know, I just started with these smaller tasks and then I started building on that and building on that and building on that. And, you know, I found out that I was good in this area of being able to put the building blocks together for a business. And then also being able to bring a very unique perspective to the table of somebody who's, you know, like gone through this. She opened Chrysalis Continuing Care in November of 2020. This is our group room. Bringing that same perspective to Brett Mendes, who says treatment couldn't have come at a better time. Things have not gone well. You know, nobody shows up at a place like this because life is working out. One of the things that you said that really stuck out to me that was so powerful was the importance of living a life that is worth staying sober for. Can you talk about what that is for you? Taking the time to invest in relationships, um, being willing to promote them in my life to, to a, a level of status. A lot of those things are not just valuable, but they're challenging. Addressing the root causes of addiction, then taking on challenges that could lead to a different path. I really wanted to do something that was big. And now she's helping others do big things too. There has to be a safe place for people to let down those walls and truly be able to recover. If you know someone who is battling addiction, we have resources and how you can get in touch with Chrysalis Continuing Care on thedenverchannel.com.